Now, despite graduation weekend and Mother's Day, many downtown restaurants are still facing declining sales. And while the search for a coronavirus cure continues, doctors at UW Health are encouraged by the early results of a trial treatment. Plus, a White House economic advisor issues a stark warning that unemployment could continue to climb into the summer. is News 3 Now at 5.30. Thanks for joining News 3 Now at 5.30. We will get to our top stories in just a moment. But first, we saw some snow in Madison this Mother's Day. There's a chance for a little more tonight. Dana Fulton has more in your first one forecast. Dana, it was an ugly and kind of weird morning. Yeah, it almost like we uh, backtracked a little bit into March rather than starting to move towards the middle of May. It's cool outside, it's breezy, and we still have a few light isolated showers coming down. Compared to this time yesterday, our temperature drops in the teens, much of the area a 20 degree difference. Looking at our radar over the last three hours, we did see some light snow coming down. Most of the area, though, just dealing with some rain showers passing through. Right now, we have a few isolated showers. Of course, no lightning consider or passing through along with this. Overall, rainfall totals with that light green have been hovering close to just barely a tenth of an inch, though the very far corner of Rock County into Walworth County did pick up quite a bit more rain passing through today. Temperatures overnight will drop to the low 30s, so widespread frost is likely this evening. In fact, there's a freeze warning for the southwest corner of the state. We'll take a closer look at the warmer temperatures expected for the work week in just a few minutes. Thank you, Dana. The snow is far from the only thing making this Mother's Day unique. Special occasions like Mother's Day are often celebrated around a table at a favorite restaurant, but that is not the case this year. Gabriella Becerra shares how a local restaurant is making it through what would have been a busy weekend. Just like from my past experience, it has always, always been the busiest weekend of the year for us. So, you know, it, it really does hurt a lot. Despite an unlit open sign, Tudo Pasta on State Street is still open to those looking for Italian cuisine, just not in the same way. Like on a really good day, we do about 10% of sales that we would normally do. General Manager Nicholas Meyer says that decline especially hurts this weekend, falling on UW graduation and Mother's Day. The specialty holidays, like I said, graduation are, you know, like a weekend like this, it wouldn't be uncommon for us to have, you know, big parties of families, 15, 20, 30 people at a time coming in. Um, so it definitely hurts, you know, our business a lot. But more than the sales, Meyer says they miss interacting and seeing their customers on occasions like this. Now, any type of, you know, little interaction would be nice. And I think that that's a big reason why um, people do work in the service industry anyways is you have so many like extroverts and so many social, you know, servers that like to talk to their tables and like to have that interaction, you know, as part of their job. While they're unsure what dining in at Tudo Pasta will look like, Meyer says they're putting the safety of staff and customers first. A very fragile time and like there's a lot of gray area, you know, in all of this and I don't think anyone knows like the exact right answer of how to um, approach all of this, but you know, we're trying our best. <laughs> I'm Gabrielle LaBecara, News 3 Now. Some restaurants accommodated for today with takeout specials that came with bouquets of flowers for moms. Wisconsin has hit another grim milestone in the fight against the coronavirus. State health officials are reporting two new COVID-19 related deaths today, bringing the state's total to 400 deaths. In total, more than 10,200 people have tested positive for the virus in the Badger State. 8% of new tests came back positive today, 1% higher than the percentage of positive tests yesterday. The governor's Badger bounce back plan requires a significant downward trend in the percentage of positive cases over 14 consecutive days before the state begins to reopen. DHS says just under half of the more than 10,000 people who have tested positive for the virus have recovered from their infections. While the search for a cure and vaccine continues, doctors here in Madison are encouraged by the early results of a trial treatment. Madeline O'Neill shares how COVID-19 survivors are helping those struggling to get better. Amanda, you may be familiar with the term convalescent plasma. We told you about it about a month ago when UW Health and dozens of other hospitals across the country began accepting plasma donations from people who have recovered from COVID-19 in the hopes that their built-up antibodies could help others fend off the virus. Since then, Dr. William Hartman, who leads the team behind this work, says they've accepted donations from about 50 people. They use that to 
treat 14 patients whose health was taking a turn for the worse and have discharged eight already, including Lana Towsley. I just kept getting worse and worse until I received the plasma and I would absolutely love to meet that person and tell them thank you. Thanks for another chance at life. A program like this when we spoke a couple days ago, Dr. Hartman told me he expects five more COVID-19 patients to be released from the hospital soon, making that 13 out of 14 patients treated in the study. Hartman says while this isn't a scientific study and they can't quantify the difference this plasma treatment is making, he's encouraged by the results so far and thrilled to see patients like Lana be able to go home. Coming up tonight at 10, we'll hear more of Lana's emotional journey through this. So nice to hear some good news. Thank you, Maddie. At least 47 states have now loosened their coronavirus restrictions as the White House and Congress debate what they should do next to help the U.S. economy recover. But as President Trump urges states to move ahead, coronavirus infections continue to increase and a key projection of COVID-19 related deaths has been raised. Karen Kafa has the latest from Washington, D.C. The April jobs report was historically dismal, 20.5 million American jobs lost. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin told Fox News Sunday it may not even be the worst of the coronavirus crisis. The reported numbers are probably going to get worse before they get better, but that's why we're focused on rebuilding this economy. As for another stimulus, White House economic advisor Larry Kudlow speaking to ABC's This Week says to wait to see results of the previous package. I think that uh, many people would like to just pause for a moment and take a look at the uh, economic impact of this uh, massive assistance program. This, as President Trump urges states to move forward with getting back to business, even as concerns hit close. Dr. Anthony so Fauci, CDC like Director this, Robert Redfield, and FDA now, Commissioner Stephen Hahn all observing quarantine after contact with a White House staffer who tested positive. Economic advisor Kevin Hassett acknowledging the current risks of working inside the White House, even as precautions are taken. We've all been exposing ourselves to risks, you know, under the best guidance we could possibly have to keep us safe, but we're willing to take that chance. And researchers at the University of Washington warn of greater risks as states further reopen, raising their projected U.S. coronavirus death toll to 137,000 by August. In Washington, I'm Karen Kafa. Hassett expects the unemployment rate to climb past 20 percent due to the country's economic fallout. He predicts that May or June will be the high point for job losses. In London, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson is calling on people across the UK on Sunday to return to work if they can't do so from home. Though the death toll has been tragic and the suffering immense, and though we grieve for all those we have lost, it is a fact that by adopting those measures, we prevented this country from being engulfed by what could have been a catastrophe in which the reasonable worst case scenario was half a million fatalities. The government's previous stance was that people should only go to work, quote, if they must. Johnson says parks can also reopen and he's employing a new five tier alert system. Primary schools in Britain could reopen as soon as June 1st, while more shops and hospitality sector could reopen in July. The UK has 219,000 confirmed cases of coronavirus and nearly 32,000 deaths. Senior citizens in Turkey are spending time outside today for the first time since March 21st. The country gave its elderly citizens a one-time permission to step outside and get fresh air for just four hours between 11 and 3 o'clock. Turkey will slowly start lifting restrictions tomorrow. And an update in the first epicenter of the coronavirus crisis. Wuhan officials are reporting its first new case since April 3rd. Officials say the patient is in critical condition at a hospital. The man's wife also tested positive for COVID-19 and was reported as an asymptomatic case. The Wuhan Health Commission says the cause of the patient's infection is past community infection. China reopened Wuhan's borders on April 8th after a 76-day lockdown. Newly released video in the investigation into the February shooting death of a 25-year-old, Ahmad Arbery, appears to show him at a construction site. Arbery's family is confirming this weekend it is him. In the video, Arbery looks around and then walks out. Shortly after, Arbery was stopped while jogging by Travis and Gregory McMichael, where he was killed. Meanwhile, the attorney for the man who recorded the video of the shooting says he's receiving threats. Authorities say he's also been investigated following the killing. 
if he had not videotaped that incident, the only person who really could speak to what happened is dead and will never have that opportunity. Father and son Gregory and Travis McMichael are in custody on murder and aggravated assault charges. Coming up on News 3 Now at 5.30, if you find yourself eating more processed foods lately, the nutrition experts at Consumer Reports have some advice to help you ditch that habit. Stay with us. You call me in people's lives the way that the nurses that took care of my grandma made a difference in her life. Now is the time to change your life. Herzing University makes it possible without leaving home. Herzing offers dozens of online degrees in nursing, healthcare, IT, and business. Start studying online and take the first step toward a new career. I'm an ICU nurse. I'm Coming together makes us stronger, and Ford is built to lend a hand. Contact your Ford dealer, an essential part of your community, to find out more about home delivery and other vehicle service options. After all, you have a lot to take care of. Let us help take care of you. Find out more at Ford.com. Right now, qualified buyers can get 0% financing for 84 months, plus three months deferred payments on select 2019 Ford vehicles. can't dine in? Then get it to go and support our restaurants during Madison Magazine's Restaurant Week to Go. Two weeks of fabulous to-go menus you'll love. Visit madisonmagazine.com for details and menus. Restaurant Week to Go, presented by Kessnicks. Food service design, equipment, and supplies. I guess there is still cleanup to do. Tesla CEO Elon Musk is threatening to move his company to a state with fewer social distancing rules. In a series of tweets, he says the company will move to Texas or Nevada, but the California-based corporation is not confirming that statement. Musk also says he's suing the county where the company is headquartered. Tesla had planned to let some employees return to work on Friday, but the county's health department says that would violate its current social distancing laws. Plenty of people jump on the bandwagon when they hear about different food fads in an effort to lose weight or to eat healthier. But the nutrition team at Consumer Reports suggests ditching the hype once and for all. And as Josh Breider explains, they have good advice to help us make better choices at mealtime. Who hasn't tried at least one food fad? A lot of people were saying fat was the problem in the consumer diet, but it was actually carbs. I just kind of basically stick to like a fitness diet. I fasted. Low fat, low sugar, low sodium, high protein. Nutrition experts at Consumer Reports say skip the trends and stick with the science. The evidence suggests that diets high in ultra processed foods are associated with the rise in obesity and also other chronic diseases such as diabetes, heart heart disease, and even cancer. But what exactly does ultra-processed mean? Well, consider peanuts. Straight from the shell, they're pretty perfect. Some protein, some healthy fat, some fiber. Turn them into fresh peanut butter and they're still pretty good. But head down the peanut butter aisle and be on the lookout for hydrogenated oils and added sugars. Once you're admiring peanut-flavored protein bars, peanut may be a little more than flavoring. How about chicken? With chicken parts, what you see is typically what you get. Consider chicken sausage and you're heading into the process zone. By the time you get to nuggets, which are often breaded, battered, and fried, you guessed it, ultra-processed. A lot of ultra-processed foods are high in saturated fat, added sugars, sodium, refined starches, and on top of that, you can have added flavors, preservatives, stabilizers, which all may also play a role. So keep it closer to whole to make it more wholesome. For Consumer Reports, this is Josh Breider with News 3 Now.
Nutrition experts at Consumer Reports say the science even suggests that the mashup of ingredients in ultra-processed foods may be causing disruption in the hormones that control hunger and encourage overeating. Still ahead on News 3 Now at 5.30, much warmer temperatures ahead later this week. Dana's back with your first one forecast next. our pick and save associates for the long hours and late nights for the miles traveled and the shelves restocked for making a difference in our customers lives for doing so much more than your job everyone at the Kroger family of brands and our customers say thank you in a time when daily life feels a bit uncertain your hard work is keeping America fed pick and save fresh for everyone for more than 80 years, innovation has been at the heart of everything we do at Nissan. And today is no different. We're finding new ways to help you keep going while helping you keep your distance. Ask your local Nissan dealer about buying or servicing a Nissan vehicle from home. Now, get no payments for three months. Plus, we'll cover your payments for up to two additional months. Or get 0% APR financing for up to 84 months on 13 models. This is help when you need it. Monday morning after a chilly weekend, Hattie is looking ahead to a warm-up next week. And with a lot of us doing more work from home, Consumer Reports will help you figure out whether it's time to buy a new computer. We'll see you from 4.30 to 7 Monday morning. Only your locally owned Cub Cadet dealer has genuine parts, accessories, trained service technicians, and the widest selection of innovative Cub Cadet products. We're here for you whenever you need us with expert service and support to keep your equipment running at peak performance for years to come. And with great deals available, there's never been a better time to buy at your local dealership. To find the dealer near you, visit CubCadetDealers.com. From our family to yours, we want to encourage you to keep going. Keep protecting what's most important. Keep hopeful in the face of all this. Keep believing. Keep being strong. Keep supporting the people on the front line. Keep staying together while staying apart. Keep being fearless. And most of all, keep dreaming. American Family Insurance is mailing our personal auto insurance customers a premium relief payment to help them keep going. We'll keep being here when you need us. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Millions of baby turtles are making their way out from beaches and back into the sea. This video comes from India, where thousands more olive ridley turtles than recent years are still on beaches due to the pandemic, leaving beaches deserted. The turtles usually lay eggs at night when beaches are empty, but this year they're showing up on the sand during the day. Experts estimate that the turtles have laid around 60 million eggs in Indian beaches this year. How cool is that? Let's get a look at your first foreign weather now with Dana Fulton. A little cloudy, a little rainy, and a little breezy still. Now tonight, as our skies start to become partly cloudy, it's going to get a little cold outside. So we yet again have concerns for frost and even a hard freeze for the western side of southern Wisconsin. Crawford, Grant, Richland counties under a freeze warning for Monday morning, and then the rest of southern Wisconsin under a frost advisory for Monday morning. That goes until about 8 o'clock tomorrow when temperatures will finally start to climb up a little bit out of the mid-30s, but it's going to be cold outside again tonight. Uh, we're expecting sunshine to return for Monday and Tuesday, but it's going to be a bit of a chilly start to the week. Even tomorrow, it's not going to be quite as cold outside, but so well below average. The end of the week, we finally get back to the 70s. It'll be a milder trend for us. The center of the system is now pulling east. We still have this trough just draped across southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois, so still a few lingering showers, but our rain is gradually ending. The cloud coverage is also pulling away. So by tomorrow, we will be back to our, our sunny, sunny skies. Notice the breeze still coming from the northwest, though, so tomorrow it is going to be chilly outside. High temperatures will be climbing into the 50s. A few clouds possible late in the day, but overnight, 
tonight were mostly clear, so frost likely again Monday night into Tuesday morning. Tuesday will be mostly sunny outside. High temperatures will be just a little warmer than Monday. That warming trend is going to continue through the rest of the week. Looking at our precipitation trend from the 16th through the 20th of May. That's our, our 6 to 10 day stretch from now. It's starting to become a little likely. We could trend above average. A few more rain chances building in for the middle of the month, but no big systems right now that we're watching. Tomorrow, high temperatures will be in the low 50s, about 15 degrees below average, but we will have mostly sunny skies and it won't be quite as chilly as we were today. Our breeze coming from the west about 5 to 10 miles per hour, so not too windy outside either. Now we're mostly sunny for Monday and Tuesday. We're expecting frost again for Monday night. Tuesday night we could have some patchy frost, mainly north of Dane County. Temperatures will be dropping to the mid-30s. The second half of the week, we finally start to climb closer to average. But that is going to come along with some shower and thunderstorm chances as well. We have a chance for showers and thunderstorms late in the day on Wednesday. Temperatures will be in the upper 50s for afternoon highs. Upper 60s on Thursday with scattered showers and thunderstorms. Friday, a chance for showers and thunderstorms with temperatures close to 70. It will stay close to 70 in the weekend with some shower chances on Saturday. But that sunshine returning for Sunday, thankfully. And temperatures seem Ooh. likely to stay close to 70 heading into the following that week. That is some good news because that Sunday that we had 70, it just was a little was tease so nice. for us and then we came back to cold and some snow yeah today's a, a little bit of a flashback to yeah. a few months ago we'd yeah. like to move forward now definitely thank you mm -hmm. so much dana next on news three now at 5 30 how one badger athlete got her team to run more than a thousand miles together in one week that's next in sports Choosing the right Medicare plan is simple, right? Except that there are a lot of choices from a lot of companies. Avoid the confusion and the junk mail. Come to Informed Choice Insurance Agency. We know Medicare. And we offer many of Wisconsin's popular plans. There's no cost and no obligation to come discuss your Medicare options with the experienced team at Informed Choice. Call us today. <laughs> Instead of going to school every morning, what if school could come to you? Because learning happens anywhere and everywhere. K-12 powered schools provide a tuition-free, full-time online public school education taught by state licensed teachers. It's public school at home. K-12's curriculum is designed to engage students, to challenge them. So visit k12.com today. Tuition-free in Wisconsin. In these uncertain times, it has never been more important to maintain a clean home or business. We are prepared to get your space back to clean and healthy again. We've added a new EPA-registered cleaner that disinfects hard surfaces and deep cleans carpet, rugs, and upholstery. Remember, we disinfect our equipment after every job and disinfect our vehicles daily. We believe in doing things the right way. That's why we've been your trusted partner in clean for over 70 years. Coming together makes us stronger, and Ford is built to lend a hand. Contact your Ford dealer, an essential part of your community, to find out more about home delivery and other vehicle service options. After all, you have a lot to take care of. Let us help take care of you. Find out more at Ford.com. Right now, qualified buyers can get 0% financing for 84 months, plus three months deferred payments on select 2019 Ford vehicles. Get the facts with Reality Check, only on News 3 Now. Well, tonight we're introducing you to Hannah Reali. She's just a sophomore and double majoring in health promotion and health equity and Spanish. And truly exemplifying the title of student athlete to its fullest potential during the COVID-19 pandemic. Hannah Reale is putting her Wisconsin education to use early on. She took a class on world hunger and nutrition this semester that really touched her heart. With the cancellation of schools across the U.S., millions of children are facing food insecurities as a result of COVID-19. That really kind of helped catch my eye of how important of an issue this is like across our communities and 
we may not see it or experience it. So the Badger runner decided to do something about it. There are so many people who are going without meals, and there's so many kids who need need meals. Hannah got her fellow Badgers involved doing what they do best, running a lot. We as a team will be collectively pledging to run against hunger. It was really cool to bring our team together, especially since everyone is spread across the world right now. California, Northtown, Wisconsin, Washington, New Jersey. It was just a great way for us to get involved and give back to our communities. Together, the men's and women's cross country and track teams ran 1,300 miles in one week, raising more than $4,000 for No Kid Hungry. This is our way of being able to give back to those who aren't able to get the meals that they were able to get in school. Hannah encourages everyone to do what they can because the more that you can help, the bigger the impact. Yeah, I think it makes all of us feel really good that we were able to step up to the plate and take part in something that is bigger than ourselves and help our community because right now during this time we need to like join together and help those in need. Now Hannah says she was inspired to organize the runathon after a friend of hers from her hometown in Albany, New York did so as well. Well, slowly sports is coming back in countries outside of the U.S. South Korea already has soccer and baseball games. Now Germany is getting on board too. The Bundesliga is scheduled to return this Saturday on May 16th. So if you're a Borussia Mönchengladbach fan and you want to kind of be at the stadium in person, you can have a cardboard cutout of yourself placed in the sands for the fee of $20. So far there are 4,500 already in the stadium. 12 thousand more Amanda are already in the works. I checked the capacity of stadium 45,000 so it'll be kind of like a quarter full so at least the spirit of the people will be there. Yeah and I know they're still trying to figure out what to do here in the U.S. When we, but that would be pretty cool to have your picture there at the stadium if you can't <laughs> actually be there. What a good idea. Yeah, better than nothing. Yeah thanks so much Melissa. We'll be right back. Dark stains and algae buildup can rapidly age your roof. So give us a call here at Mad City Roofing for a new high-performance premium roofing system with Scotchgard protection to prevent stains and streaks. And now during our Raise the Roof event, 75% off labor. Ask about zero down, zero payments, and zero interest for 18 months. And if you call during this program, receive a free $100 Amazon gift card with your free in-home estimate. So, what's the plan? You jump in there, the drought ends, and then the crops grow. Okay, uh, what if instead we just built something that would get the water from the river down to the fields? Like with tubes or something? Well, everybody walked all the way up here, so... Go on, get on with it! In you go. No, you're right. Eventually, somebody realizes there's a better way to do things. Like a mobile service with the fastest overall speeds. Now with 5G, it's a better way to mobile. It's Spectrum Mobile. When we face adversity, we find a way through it. It's about taking care of each other. It's the small parts that make a big difference. At Chevy, we promise to do ours. We're offering current Chevy owners OnStar Crisis Assist Services and complimentary Wi-Fi data. If you need a new vehicle, we have leases available on select 2020 models where you can practically sign and drive. You may even shop online and take delivery at home where available. It's just our way of doing our part. Creating family memories is what Maple Leaf Landscaping is all about. We design and build outdoor spaces that bring people together. Landscaped spaces for any size family. Functional, beautiful, a place everyone will enjoy. And it all starts with a free visit at your home by one of our landscape experts. So call Maple Leaf Landscaping today and have us create an outdoor living space for your home. Well, it was a weird day. We had some <laughs> snow, a weird Mother's Day. It's, it's, it's spring. Thankfully, <laughs> we're moving forward now. Mostly sunny skies for Monday and Tuesday. Rain chances for the end of the week. Now, it's going to be chilly for Monday, but we will be back closer to 70 by Friday and Saturday. All right. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a great night.